Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the guide to fat loss. This is our third episode. Episode two was actually just released on Friday and episode one probably about two weeks ago. So if you're not caught up, make sure that you check out episodes one and two after you like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on <laughs> because both will be linked in the description box below and will help give you a full guide to fat loss. Today we're going to cover exactly what calorie balance is because while we have talked about the need to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose weight and prioritizing protein in order to not just lose weight but lose fat and keep as much muscle mass as we can as possible while dieting, just knowing of that doesn't really give you the full picture. Like That is a part of the picture and it is a very important part of the picture but there is more to life than fat loss. And in many ways, understanding the other aspects of calorie balance are going to help you in your fat loss phase as well. Not all of our time should be spent trying to lose weight or lose fat. If that is the case, we are definitely doing something wrong because you would eventually be losing way too much weight. You would be way too light. Um, or you're simply not losing weight at all even though you are quote unquote dieting or in a caloric deficit and you're placing unnecessary stress or not totally understanding what you are eating and that's going to wear and tear on your body and your mind and just everything. So today we're going to cover all aspects of calorie balance so that you can get a full picture of what's going on. When it comes to calorie balance, we have calorie balance, we have a negative calorie balance, and we have a positive calorie balance. We're going to cover all three of those today and we'll go ahead and start with a negative calorie balance. A negative calorie balance is what we're going to need in order to lose weight. So negative calorie balance means that we are burning more calories than we are consuming. And that is why we are in a negative. Intake is the calories that we eat. Out is the calories that we burn throughout the day, whether that be through physical activity, the thermic effect of food, or just daily activities like doing the dishes, taking a shower, even sleeping. When what we burn is greater than what we are consuming, food over here, uh, activity over here, then we are in a negative calorie balance and that is how we are able to lose weight. So a negative calorie balance is when calories in are less than calories out and we lose weight. The opposite then of a negative calorie balance would be a positive calorie balance. And the opposite of calories in being less than calories out would be calories in being greater than calories out. So if you're taking in, let's say, 2,000 calories in food, you're only burning 1,500 calories, you're going to gain weight because that is the opposite of losing weight, which is what we had with a negative calorie balance. We don't always want to be trying to lose weight, and sometimes it's going to be actually beneficial for you to actively go out and gain weight. Weight gain, the opposite, the positive calorie balance, plays an important role in how your fat loss phase goes as well. If we have more muscle mass, which is accrued during a caloric surplus when we are in a positive calorie balance, then we are able to eat more and naturally burn more calories at rest because muscle burns more calories at rest than fat does and that should make a fat loss phase actually much easier and also more rewarding because at the end of it you look better because you have more curve, more body to you. Finally, if you don't want to be in a caloric surplus or a caloric deficit and not all your time should be spent only in these two, we have our third and final aspect of calorie balance which is just balance. <laughs> A negative calorie balance occurs when calories in are less than calories out. Positive calorie balance occurs when calories in are greater than calories out. And true caloric balance, true calorie balance occurs when calories in equal calories out. And at that point, you are maintaining your weight. While you're maintaining your weight, it's very normal for on the scale you to fluctuate somewhere between two to five pounds. That is still considered uh, body weight maintenance, you're not gaining weight, you're not losing weight. It's not realistic to assume you're going to weigh in at the same exact number, 150 on the dot, Monday through Sunday, every single day. Even if you are eating the same amount of calories, your body weight is going to fluctuate just due to how many carbs you've eaten, whether you're overly hydrated, dehydrated, whether you just trained heavy legs yesterday, all of those are going to play a factor and we can talk more about 
factors that go into your scale weight later, but that is considered body weight maintenance even though there is a little bit of fluctuation in actual scale weight. We really want to make sure that we're taking advantage of all three aspects of calorie balance, whether it be a negative calorie balance because we're getting ready for a summer vacation, weight maintenance because we're on vacation, we're not trying to be crazy, please do not diet during a vacation, not the move, not how you enjoy a vacation, or if we're going into a positive calorie balance, eating in a caloric surplus so that we can gain some muscle, really grow and develop the certain parts of our bodies that we would like to focus more on, like if you want bigger glutes, more rounded shoulders, whatever it is that you want, that's gonna happen in the caloric surplus phase, and then you would maybe cycle back to a fat loss phase so you can see all that muscle that you've built and what changes that may have made to your physique in total. So that's gonna round us out for our total description, going a little bit more in depth about what there is to calorie balance because obviously there is more than just a negative calorie balance and being in a calorie deficit to lose fat or weight. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Comment down below and let me know if you need any more clarification on a negative, positive, or just simply calorie balance. Now you have a fuller picture, a better idea of all of your options because you don't only have the option of gaining weight and being out of control or losing weight and trying to get super lean for vacation. There are things we can do in between and even your calorie surplus can be a little bit more controlled so that you're not just gaining weight and gaining fat, you're gaining muscle and building a better off-season body, which has great value and is very important too. So that's going to wrap up this video. Give the video a like if this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and turn post notifications on. I will see you guys on Friday.